So ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Now today we are going to be going over a little article by CBR.com talking about how Assassin's Creed Valhalla is proof that the series doesn't need to switch to live service because we all know that Assassin's Creed Valhalla is already a live service, but we're just going to go down and break down the overall article. Now they start off by saying Assassin's Creed Valhalla has shown the massive success of the RPG model. It also shows why the franchise doesn't need to move to live service. Now first off they state that Assassin's Creed Infinity is the upcoming entry into the AC franchise, which of course turned many fans' heads with its ambitious direction. Following over a decade of success as a third-person adventure RPG series, the franchise is now looking to become a live service title. While there are many pros to consider for this shift in direction, games like Assassin's Creed Valhalla prove that live service titles don't need to do the next phase. Now, Assassin's Creed is no stranger to changing up its format. In the past, this series used to change its game play style with each new engine to always keep players learning about new ways to enjoy the game. When Unity was released, it changed the gameplay style entirely. However, when AC Rogue came out, previous gen consoles utilizing a past generation format, this helped maintain the fan base that loved the older Edward Kenway Ezio Aditore style of gameplay, while also telling a story from a different perspective on two console generation. While this method hasn't been done since, it shows why live service shouldn't be the only direction and why Whilst I agree with this 100%, live service for an Assassin's Creed game it shouldn't be a good thing, AC Valhalla has already been doing it since the release. I mean, we've had continuous monthly updates and different activities that are coming into the game, which are brand new and haven't been there at launch. We also have the upcoming second DLC, the major expansion, Siege of Paris, and we also have information about the next DLC, which is coming into next year, which means we will have a ton more updates for the game, which overall will be very good for not only the fans but the franchise and that is literally mainly because the games do work as a live service but it's all dependent on how well they work and how well they run on the consoles and as we know there's been some leaks about some dragons coming in to AC Valhalla's next DLC and while actually talking about dragons have you guys heard of Dragon City? Now Dragon City is a free to play mobile game available on both Android and iOS but it's also available on Windows and Amazon. Now in this game you get to collect over a thousand different dragons and build your own dragon city. In there you can also breed two dragons to get brand new ones and you then feed them to evolve. You can then train your dragons and take them to battle in order to make them more powerful. Now there are also different PvP modes that let you fight against your friends and challenge other dragon masters and there are also several events every week sort of like a live service to discover and play in new adventures with your friends. Now these are Maze, Runner, Grid and Heroic Race and honestly my favourite is Runner. It's just fun to do and you get more use out of your dragon and guys and girls honestly I'm having fun playing this game. Myself and many other YouTubers such as Fundy, George Not Found, Eddie VR and obviously myself play these games and have been for a while and it's just fun to play. Now you can use the link in the description down below to get a special free reward of 15,000 food, 30,000 gold and and the rare citadel dragon now these will only be available for new users and only for seven days so make sure you get down in the description and click that link to get these exclusive updates guys and guys want to say a huge thanks to dragon city for sponsoring this video but let's get straight back into it now continuing the article they go on to say that assassin's creed valhalla utilizes live service elements like the new events and gear which i just described but apparently they think that the only difference is it can't constantly update its protagonist and era like Infinity promises. Now while this is great for Infinity, apparently they go on to say that it limits the gameplay changes that new entries often offered the series. And while it's great to have one game that promises various Assassin's Creed titles, painting this level of gameplay consistently could drive away its current fan base. And then to counter this, Ubisoft could utilize one of its many studios to create a completely parallel series still in canon with the universe but isn't tied to the live service model. This helps keep veteran fans who prefer a single player experience while offering a variety in gameplay and narrative. Valhalla already utilizes many live service elements like the DLC events and limited edition gear with Redder but it never compromises the overall feeling of the story and it still feels like a traditional RPG title and shows that the franchise doesn't need a shift in genre but that's just not the case it already has had a shift in genre. It used to be an open world action adventure story game and now while it still does have those elements it's more of an RPG type 
title, which it wasn't previously. So there's always going to be a shift in genre when it comes to the AC games. Now, a YouTuber by the name of Draw Raptor actually mentioned this to me before. And looking on the bright side of things, if we do have multiple AC games, these could then end up being smaller, more confined stories, more in line with the previous games that old veteran fans have loved and enjoyed, which is something we will all love because who doesn't like the previous games? Like they are extremely fun and tell the story of Assassin's Creed way better than these new RPG games ever could. Now CBR continues this by saying Valhalla shows that gamers who play the newer titles enjoy the massive open worlds created and the ever-changing landscapes they can explore. But what separates it from a traditional live service title is that it feels like an adventure and just not another event to grind through. This is largely due to the team's devotion to the one project and a wider range of gameplay and graphic capabilities which most live services struggle with to some degree. Now Assassin's Creed Valhalla shows the possibilities of a live service title and a single player experience coexisting. However, as it continues to remain a success, the possibility of two styles of storytelling fade in the distance as it becomes clear that the franchise doesn't need a live service title. Additionally, by implementing events and certain RPG elements found in games as a service, Valhalla shows that updating its gameplay model is unnecessary and may hinder the overall quality of the franchise and that ending I do agree with. Now if Infinity does become something better than the previous games then of course they're gonna ramp up the production and they're gonna have more teams on it but they already have two of the best teams behind Assassin's Creed working on it. Yeah okay there are still some abusers that are in the company that are there now the head of Infinity which is wrong and Ubisoft needs to sort out their shit on that but on the base level the, just the base developers they know what they're doing they know what they're working on and they know the franchise so I do have faith in them. Now overall they're trying to say that Valve Valhalla isn't a live service but when you look at it in a way of live service means you get continuous updates there's a change in story different worlds and different environments then that is Valhalla like we had to have consistent combat challenges consistent weapons consistent armor even though the microtransactions are shit we've had that consistently we also with the new DLC and updates we have new locations we can travel to with Ireland and then Paris and then next year with Misselheim we are traveling to new locations and maybe next year's one we will play as the new character maybe Odin so uh, while I agree with some things that CBR are saying overall Assassin's Creed Valhalla and Infinity are more alike than they are different just because of the overall DLC and different events they add into the game guys and girls I want to thank you so much for enjoying this video if you have a like would be greatly appreciated comment down below what you think about Assassin's Creed Infinity also guys check out Dragon City in the link in the description and on the pinned comment go over there join the city and have fun with some dragons now I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you in...